Hey, what is going on guys? T.Sports15 here. Today we are back for another episode of the Chicago Cubs simulation franchise here in MLB 14, the show. So this year we are at the uh, draft and then we're going to go up to the trade deadline and everything. Um, but yeah, we're really struggling. We're 10 games under 500. We were like in contention for a while here. You can see all this. Then you can see here we got swept by the Pirates and then by the Mets and then by the Phillies. So three straight sweeps totaled for a 10 game slide for the uh, Cubs. And that's really what's put us under uh, 10 games under 500. We're 14 and a half behind the Cardinals in the uh, Central and in the Wild Card, we're six games back, uh, which is the worst record in the NL. So yeah, hopefully we can turn it around here. We got the uh, draft coming up. Last year we had a great draft. We had the ninth pick and this year we have the 10th pick. So maybe we'll have a great draft again. 2020 ETA left fielder Alexi Tejada, 96 potential. Yeah, we're going to get this Alexi Tejada guy. Looks like he's going to turn out to be something good. Then we got uh, our next pick, all B potentials left. 2019 Danny Eaton, 87 potential. Then the following pick is going to be... 2017 ETA, Luis Pena, 83 potential. And then the next pick is going to be, let's go, Roosevelt Wilkins, 77 potential. And then after that, we can just simulate it. Simulate the rest of the draft, and we'll go sign our picks. So Alexi Tejada, 60 overall. 96 potential. So this guy's going to turn out to be something special. Danny Eaton, Luis Pena, Roosevelt Wilkins. And we'll sign this Jeff Granger guy. And that is it. So the lineup. We'll check some stats. Brett Gardner, he's getting up there in age. 32 years old. It might be the last season. How many years do we have him signed for? Whoops. Uh, how many more years is he signed for? He is signed for another like two, three years, two years after this season. So we might trade him or something because we could have other guys fill his spots. Michael Brantley, he's in left field because Christian Yelich is on the DL for another two weeks, one to two weeks. Uh, Blake Sweetheart's been on the DL, 60 day DL with that broken finger. He should be back soon. Um, so yeah, we got Gardner Brantley. Uh, Freeman's been 278, Baez 225, we moved him to the four spots, because he's had a ton of power um, in the last couple seasons, 255 for Quentin, uh, 243 for ba for uh, Russell, sorry, uh, Bonifacio, why is he at third, Bryant should be at third, Chris Bryant should be at third base, he's been at third base for most of the season, and he's been 274, Wellington Castillo at 259, and then, uh, yeah, that's it there. Jorge Soler is up uh, because, what's his name, Christian Yelich was injured, and he is only batting 125, but he's only had 16 at-bats, so small sample size for him. Bonifacio, 216, Scherholtz, 314, uh, Baker, 242, and Saunders, 350, so that's good. Now the rotation, Danny Salazar is having a great season, 5-5 five five with a sub-3 ERA. Walker's doing pretty bad, 4-5 with a 4.59 ERA. Uh, Holtzin, 5-1, 2.67 ERA, that's great for him. Straley, 3-7, 4.45, pretty bad. And Alvarez is doing pretty well, 4-4 four four with a 2.84 ERA. So three of our uh, five starters have sub-3 ERAs, which is nice. Bullpen, uh, Duffy, 6 ERA, um, Walk, uh, sorry, Jackson, 2.63 ERA, um, and how many innings has he pitched? 13, so I'm kind of feeling subbing him out for Straley like that. I think that's what we're going to do, because Straley has been uh, really bad, even though he's on a hot streak right now. We're going to take Straley out, throw him in the bullpen. Then we got Blake Parker uh, with a 3.75. Uh, Ramos, 3.31. Uh, Pastano, 6.39. We could probably swap these guys right there. Blake Parker. Shea Simmons, he's been struggling. 5.94 ERA, but he's only pitched 16 innings. 
36 for him and 19 for Strope. But Strope's been really good in that closing role. Uh, Shea Simmons, he was in that closing role, then he got injured, and then he came back, and Strope's just been doing so well. So Strope uh, will be the closer for the next little while, so that's pretty much the update for that. And let's get up to the uh, All-Star break. So yeah, continuing the simulation, Blake Sweetheart is back, so that means we have to send down... John Baker, so Baker's gonna be down, and Sweetheart is back. What's Sweetheart batting? Sweetheart is 250, but he's only had 12 at bats because he got injured really early. But yeah, he's just on the team because we got him in the Rule 5 draft, and he has to be on the team. So we're gonna activate this guy, and yeah, we're really struggling this season. So it looks like Christian Yelich is back, so that means we can send down Jorge Soler, uh, which is right there. So Soler's down. And then, where is he? Okay, so right, this is right field, yeah. We're gonna throw you in there. No, this is, this is how I had it. Brantley was in right, like that. Yelich was there. Yelich was there on that. Yelich there, and then Brantley in right. Then Yelich there, and yeah, so yeah. That looks good to me. Yelich is back, sounds good. And we should be doing pretty good now that he's back. We're still 11 games under 500. Smokey's double A. Good, good, good. So we're on a three game winning streak. We have a chance to sweep the Reds, division rivals. And we do not. They uh, avoid the sweep. So we're still 10 games under. Now we play Miami, win the first couple, and we they avoid the sweep. So back to back series where we almost get sweeps. But now we play St. Louis. We're on the verge of getting swept, and we do. So we get swept by the Cardinals who are the uh, top team in the division right now. Then we win the first one against San Diego, win the second one, win the third one, chance to sweep a four game set, and we do. So that's a nice four game winning streak there, four game sweep against the Padres. Nice to see that. But then we come back and we nearly get swept by the uh, Giants now into Atlanta, three game set. We win the first one, lose the second one, lose the third one. So we're still 10 games under, so it's not looking too good for making the playoffs this season, but possibly next season with all our guys improving, hopefully. So we lose six straight there, and that's been the problem, just losing. Like we, We're a streaky team, definitely. So let's keep going here. Um, and we win a couple back-to-back -back against the Yankees. We got three more series before the All-Star break. One against St. Louis, and we if we beat St. Louis in the series, that'd be big, but no, we can't. We take one of three in that series. Edwin Jackson no longer injured. Washington, we lose the first two. Lose the third one, and can we avoid the sweep? And we do. We win 13-0 in that game. The Yankees are offering us a trade. Alfonso Soriano, probably don't want him. He's 60 overall now, 40 years old, making $11 million for the rest of the season. And Luis Awaga, what is he? A potential 19 years old for Michael Saunders. So do we we could eat the contract of Soriano for an A potential 19 year old pitcher. I think we're gonna do that. We're just gonna eat the contract of Soriano because it's only for one more year. And we're giving up Saunders. And then we can call it like Soler or something. So we're gonna accept that trade. That gives us another eight potential pitcher. And we are going to just straight up uh, release you. Then we are going to call up Jorge Soler again. So that looks good. Now let's get continuing on here. So the Cubs AAA, too many guys or something, auto do that. And we'll go to the home run derby. To the home run derby we have nobody in there dante spencer this guy's been good the last couple years he won the rookie of the year and now he's in the home run derby 30 bombs last season at 18 here halfway through the season so he's been good uh tulowitzki cano goldschmidt fielder uh granderson hart and harper are the uh home run derby contestants so let's check this out uh, Gallardo is starting for the NL, then Hudson Salazar. Salazar made it with that 2.38 ERA, 10 and 7, so he's been doing really well. Waka, Scherzer, uh, Shisek, uh, Grilly, uh, K-Rod, sorry. Um, 
Soriano, Addison Reed, and Sergio Roman, then Aroldis Chapman, then Gene Segura, Matt Carpenter, Goldschmidt, Cargo, Harper, Puig, Cutchin, uh, Molina, Daniel Murphy, Grandal, Brantley, uh, Gonzalez, Phillips, uh, Wright, JP Crawford made it. Well, he's batting 184 and he made it. How did somebody make it when they're batting sub 200? Then Tulowitzki, uh, Pablo Sandoval, Craig, Carlos Gomez, and Curtis Granderson. So our one all-star was Danny Salazar, um, which is fitting because we are 16 games under 500 right now. And we're probably not going to make any deadline moves except for that one that we already made, sending uh, where we got uh, that eight potential pitcher. Dodgers, Brett Gardner. Four, Moises Sierra, B potential, 27 years old. And then pitchers, Ramos, B potential, 20 years old. And Eddie Butler, uh, B potential, 25 years old. I think we're going to do this. Uh, Brett Gardner, how much is he making? 1.6 mil. He's getting up there in age. We really don't need him because uh, we're probably going to go after some sort of outfielder in the offseason like in free agency or something Yelich is pretty much going to be the left fielder for the future we can move Brantley to center and then we can uh, have like Shearholtz play right so that's how it's going to be we're going to accept that trade we pick up a couple extra assets in that deal and a couple of them have probably already been called up so what are they called up Edwin Jackson uh, who was it Looks like they are not called up, so that's good. And then center field, Moises Sierra, we need to send out. There we go. So that means we are going to have Christian Yelich lead us off. Then it's going to be... Who's going to be that two spot? We can put Russell in that two spot. Bump these guys up. This is center field. We're going to move Brantley to center field. Have Shields and right. Move you up one. And that should be good. So that's how it's going to work out for the lineups. So Yelich there, then Russell, Bryant, and Sheerholtz like that. Well, I guess, yeah, we got to move Brantley in there, so Sheerholtz isn't going to be playing with that lineup. Then it's going to be Yelich, move Russell up, Bryant, then put Sheerholtz, swap Sheerholtz and Brantley. And one more time, I think. Last time, so Russell, move Bryant up one, Brantley in there. And then if we move Brantley to center field, he should get a higher overall. So he's 80 now. And we move him to center. He is... Does he go down? Did he go down? He went down to a 79. So he's only going to be there for like one season, I guess, until we get a uh, center fielder in the offseason, hopefully. So that is a nice move, sending Brett Gardner for a couple prospects. And I guess we can update the trading block. Whoops. Uh, update trading block. We can throw uh, Spencer McNair. He's an eight potential now, and he's top fifty prospect. So he could be up next season. That's another nice piece. So Ramos, no, not Ramos. Yeah, Ramos could be on there. Straley could be on there. Alvarez, kind of want to hold on to him. Duffy, uh, Hendricks, Graham, Strope, Ramos, Pastano, Blake Parker, Shea Simmons, Castillo. Uh, who else could we trade? Bonifacio, Theo Murphy, uh, Levette is almost up. Leah Vitt, he's 71 overall. So all of our prospects are starting to come up. Quinton we can move. Uh, Brantley I wouldn't mind moving. Sherholtz and, like, not so rare. That is what we're going to throw on the trading block. We're not going to look for trades, but if we get sent trades, we could... Make some, so yeah, let's uh, release a couple guys. Well, we need to release one, so we'll release uh, that guy. Not too big of a deal, and we need to finish off this trade deadline. So yeah, we're almost done here. Addison Russell out for one to two months. That's a tough one, so broken shin for him. So hopefully he'll be back soon, but we need to call up somebody in turn. And the top shortstop in our organization, other than Russell, is Bo Leavet. Do we want to call him up? Or is there somebody else that can fill in? We can move Bonifacio to short. But I really don't. Or we can move Baez back. Just for now. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to call up some random dude from AAA. 
we're not going to call up any of our top prospects. Um, we'll call up we'll call up Ruggiano, just so we don't stun his growth. And then we're going to move, we're going to put Bonifacio there, and then we're going to swap positions with Baez. Put Bonifacio there, swap positions with Baez, put Bonifacio there, swap positions with Baez. Bonifacio there, swap positions with Baez. So Bonifacio is going to be playing two bag, and uh, Baez back to short. So that sucks that that was an injury that happened, but keeping simulating. So yeah, that, that guy that we released got claimed, so we don't have to pay his salary. And we we won two of three against St. Louis, which is nice. Now we play Miami, win the first game. Important message, that's just a warning about the trade deadline coming up. We won two of two against Miami so far. Game three of the series, we win. Can we sweep off Miami? And we do. So a four-game sweep against Miami coming off a series victory against the division-leading St. Louis Cardinals. So that's nice to see. And after a couple more wins against Boston, we moved 10 games under 500, and we cannot get the sweep against Boston. So the trade deadline is coming up on this next day, and we'll go through the trade deadline. And CJ Edwards is almost back. He'll still be out for one to two weeks. Keep on the 15. And we should be good to go. So... Important message, we'll ignore that. We are 11 games under 500 now. We got two months left to simulate. And in the next episode, we're going to get into the off season for year three. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy. And the team is looking up for now. See you guys in the next one. Peace.